Hello everyone, my name is Alexandra and I create tutorial videos for my YouTube channel Peculiar Galaxy Astronomy. These tutorials mainly focus on professional astronomical data, such as creating beautiful images from the Hubble and Webb telescope data. Now one thing I came across when learning image processing is that to do some of the more advanced concepts, I would need to know how to program. And I figured if I'm going to learn how to program, might as well make a new career out of it. So I am going to be returning to school for a bachelor's in data science. I wanted to document my journey into data science as I learn and watch my programs evolve and grow throughout the next couple of years. Now, I just took my first class for this degree, and it was a basic principles of programming class that taught in Java. So I had actually taught myself Python earlier this year, and now at the end of the year, December 2022, I am first coding in Java. And the idea is that I want to keep both languages, but be able to write programs in either language. So the first video that I have here is going to be in Java for a temperature conversion program, and then I will convert it into Python. Now, I actually really enjoyed Java, even though I learned Python first. To me, Python definitely seems more simple, but somehow Java clicks for me easier. So I wanted to start off this first video with Java, and it is going to definitely be a rough program, as I do not quite know a lot yet. I understand most of the syntax, but writing anything more complicated than a calculation is something I will be learning. So I wanted to document my progress throughout the next few years and get to see just how far my code comes as I learn. Now I have written this program before and I wanted to replicate it for this video and then create a video for this in Python. So I did put the shell of the program to save some time typing and to kind of go through the program for those who might want to just follow along and learn as I do as well. I'm not going to go super in depth into teaching. This is more of a documentary video versus a tutorial because I do not want to explain things wrong. As I'm just learning myself, I do not know enough to teach anyone. So there will definitely be ways that this program could be improved. If you have improvements, please leave them in the comments below and I will happily implement them as I am very, very, very new to this. I've only been learning since August for Java and about March for Python, but if I stop coding for even a week, I lose it. So this is also a way to hold myself accountable and to, you know, eventually get to hopefully integrate this into astronomical image processing and teach you how to do that once I know enough. So let's begin. This program will be to convert temperatures between Celsius, Fahrenheit, and Kelvin. Very useful in the astronomical world. Oftentimes temperatures are given in Kelvin, and I like to be able to convert things into something that I know to really truly understand the temperature of something. So the first thing I'm going to do is import my scanner using java.util.scanner. If I do not import my scanner, I cannot get user input and I want my program to have user input. So the program is going to ask the user to give me a temperature type such as Fahrenheit and then the actual value of that temperature to convert. And then the output that they will get is that temperature converted with the two other temperatures. So if you input Fahrenheit, your output is in Celsius and Kelvin and it loops through until you finally tell it to stop. So next I'm going to instantiate my scanner. So I've already created my class. I'm using the Eclipse IDE. This is the one that we learned in our class this last semester and the one I'm most comfortable with for now, but I'm sure I will explore different IDEs in the future. 
So I have my class here, public class temp conversions, and then I've added my main method and instantiated my scanner. So here I have a while loop that I'm going to use to cycle through until the user tells the program to quit. So I've instantiated a Boolean con that I call condition and I have started it as true. So essentially the loop while true will cycle until false. So I have a couple of print statements that are going to print every time the user gets an output. So it's going to say, enter this value, get output, enter this value, get output until it tells it to stop. So I'm just going to fill in what I want the user to be able to read the instructions for the program. All right, so I said enter a number one, two, three for the temperature type to convert, then enter the temperature value, enter four to terminate the program. So this is just very basic. They can only enter an integer value, which I will then describe to them here. And I am printing these each on a new line using the print line command. And then I'm going to add my input variable to get the input from the user itself. And I want this to only be an integer. So I'm going to call it input. And I'm going to use the next int scan function because I want an integer value. So that's the beginning of my while loop. Now I'm going to enter into an if else if statement to gather the input from the user. So if the input is one, do this. If it's two, do this. Three, do this. Four, terminate. Otherwise, put out a statement that says incorrect input. So I'm gonna enter this one first, just because it's at the bottom here and it's easy. So incorrect input, enter one, two, four. One, two, three, or four. So we'll go with that. So if they enter something like five or six, this program will output that it's incorrect. Please enter the correct one. So let's go back to the top. If the input is equal to one, we are going to print out, enter the temperature value to convert. So this is to actually get input for the value itself, the actual number, and it will be a double. I'm going to call it temp input. And I'm going to once again get my scanner. And I'm going to copy that to each else if statement because I have not actually figured out a way to input the value at the same time as the actual temperature conversion type. Uh, so like say I want Fahrenheit plus X value without having it have issues. So next I'm going to then put my output statements. So I want the temperature in, so number one is Fahrenheit, so we'll do Celsius first, and then copy that and replace it with Kelvin. So I want to be able to essentially output, if you enter Fahrenheit, here it is in Celsius and Kelvin. And I'm using the printf statement because I want to format it to only two decimal places. Now I'm going to cheat a little and steal it from the program I've already written. I don't have the decimal places memorized yet. So like to X amount of decimal places, there's this special formula you use, this percent dot two F slash N. I don't have that memorized. So I just kind of copy and paste from previous code I've written and then I will put in my method names 
here. But first I'm going to finish the rest of the print statement. So here for the else if. So number two is Celsius. So if you want to convert Celsius, we're going to enter Fahrenheit and Kelvin. And the same goes for number three. Number three is Kelvin, so you're going to convert Kelvin to Fahrenheit and Celsius. So now I've got all of that written in. I'm going to add my method names. But before I do that, I'm going to add my statement to number four. So number four is if the input is four, we're going to terminate the program. And this is going to be where the while condition is set to false. So my variable from earlier named condition is now going to be set to false. And I'm going to close my scanner. So I did fill in my methods already just to save some time. I used one method per calculation. So my first method here outputs a double Fahrenheit to Celsius and has the appropriate equation. So I did that for each conversion, Fahrenheit to Kelvin, Celsius to Fahrenheit, Celsius to Kelvin, Kelvin to Fahrenheit, and Kelvin to Celsius. And they each take one parameter, a double, which I have called input in this case. So I'm just going to copy these names so I don't have any transcribing errors and paste them into my print statements to print out. Now they are mad at me because they do not have an input parameter. So it's going to be using temp input because this is the actual value that it is going to be converting and not the temperature type. So once I put in those inputs, they become happy and we are ready to test this and see if it works. So we'll see if there's any errors. All right, so it's going to give me some errors. It's not technically an error, but here this should be K to Celsius, which I did not fix here. So it's still actually running the program, but I used a duplicate method with a different formula. So let me clear that. And that should be fixed now. All right, let's run this again. Cool. So I'm going to enter one for Fahrenheit, enter 100, and here are my two temperature conversions. And then once again, it asks. So then I can say number two. Here's my two temperature conversions. Number three. and four to terminate. So now the program has ended. If I were to run this and enter number five, it's going to tell me incorrect input. Now, if I were to just enter a random string of characters, it's going to give me this exception error. And because I'm so new, I don't quite know how to deal with strings versus integers for input. So, we're going to leave that for a future lesson, but if you do know, please put it in the comments and I will see if I can incorporate it. So this is my first program for temperature conversions using Java. I'm going to write this in Python and see how that program comes out. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about the syntax, if you're new to learning like I am, I will do my best to answer them, but this is essentially where I'm at at this point in my programming. So I'm excited to see how I grow and learn as I continue to learn more about programming. So for now, this program just has a while loop with 
an if else if statement inside of it and different methods for the temperature conversions themselves.